Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of the Ultimate Orc Battle Wagon made 100% with Warhammer 40k sprues. If you haven't seen the first part there is a link in the description and there will be a link at the end of the video where you can go and see the first part of this build. So the thing I really love about this Orc tank is the fact it's got teeth on the front and the whole style of this just reminds me of Mad Max and I think it's awesome. So I'm going to make some similar teeth by gluing several of the sprues together And then I can cut the sprues at angles just to make them look a bit more like teeth. And then I can shave off bits using the blade just to make the whole thing a bit more rounded. And once made, they just get glued into position. So I've made a variety of sizes of the teeth, similar to those in the picture. I think they look pretty good and certainly going to make this vehicle look a lot more orky or orkish, whichever you prefer. So I've tried a little something different with the sprues and all the little nibbly knobbly cut off bits I put on a tray in the oven and I left them in there on a low heat for about 30 minutes and then they melted and then made this sprue sheet which I then cut to make this door and this little footstep. So it's coming along nicely now and I've got a lot of the components on and for the back wheels I've kind of made these mud guards just as the wheels were quite small and not really as big as I wanted having this frame goes around it just makes it look a bit better and I've got both of the tank treads in place as well they're a little bit fiddly and took quite a while to make but I think it's worth it in the end So now what it needs is the cannon and again obviously I'm making this out of the sprues so I've cut these lengths up and glued them together into like a round circle and then that's going to be attached to this turret sort of thing and then I've made another round circle of sprues which is going to be the end of the gun and then I just need to make the centre column and again this is going to be made with longer lengths of sprues glued into a circle. So to help the gun look a little bit rounder I'm just going to smooth off the edges using this little Dremel sander So now the vehicle's almost complete, it's time to think about the orc captain who's going to drive this little beast. So here we are with my orcs bits box. So I've got these army looking heads by Cromlech and I think these are pretty cool, especially the, uh, the general looking ones with the hats. So that's the head I'm going to use, now just to find the generic body and then some arms with some guns. So I'm still loving orcs and just can't get enough of the little green fellas. I can't wait to assemble the Blood Bowl Orcs that I've recently got. So the other thing the tank has that I want to make are some handrails. So to do this, obviously taking the sprue, cutting all the nibbly knobbly bits off and then basically scraping the edges to make the sprue as round as I can. And then melting it gently over a flame, try not to set the thing on fire. Enables me to bend it at right angles. And there we go, a nice easy way of making handrails. So these sprues have some great nibbly knobbly bits which I don't want to cut off as I think they look really good and a bit spiky looking and will look great for the back part of the battle wagon Well, the troops are going to be standing. So I've baked some more sprues and have this lovely big panel. I would have liked it to have been a bit thinner but for some reason when the sprues melt they only seem to melt down so far so it's still quite thick and the best way to cut it is when it first comes out it's still nice and hot 
because once it goes hard it's very difficult to cut with a blade. So I'm going to do my best to try and cut it to small little panels which I'm then going to glue onto the main battle wagon. But as you can see sometimes it cuts well and sometimes it just cracks which is a shame because being able to melt the sprues into big panels like this would certainly made it easier to have made something like this battle wagon. But hey ho this is a big old learning curve and it's good to try out new things even if sometimes they don't work out quite how you'd like them. Ok so now on to making a few hundred rivets. I'm basically going to use the sprue, cut off the nibbly knobbly bits and again then shave it down so it's fairly round. And then I can just cut off little bits at the end. Some of these sprues are quite long so I may file them down once they're attached to the battle wagon. And there we go, that's all the sprues attached. As I say, some of them are still a little bit large or a bit long, so I will sand a few of those down a little bit before I eventually paint it. So I can't wait to get some paint on this, because at the moment it looks like some sort of rainbow vehicle, which still may well suit orcs, but I want mine to be red as that makes it go faster. So I've made two more wheels just to attach at the back, just because the mud guards are so wide it looks silly with just one wheel, so two looks much better. And there we go, it's all painted with a red primer. I think it's come out pretty good. I was going to actually paint this so as a full on rust bucket, but I quite like this red. So I think this is going to be the major colour for it. So again, with the painting of this vehicle, I'm basically just going to have a bit of fun and not really put any pressure on myself because my painting skills I know are still lacking, but I really want the painting to be fun part of this build. So I'm just going to sort of build it up layers by layers. But again, this is another reason why I love orcs so much. They don't take things too seriously and they do just kind of throw things together and then slap some paint on. So if anything the skills I'm lacking in painting probably help out with these kind of jobs because it looks more orcish and less professional. So the good old teeth get painted, well, like teeth, and this will certainly help scare the opposition away when I see this beast hurtling towards them. And then to give it a full on battle look, I'm going to go over the whole thing with a black wash. And then I basically dab it down with a wet wipe, this way all the black that seeped into the gaps stays there, and anything on the top partially comes off. So I've got these two exhausts which I'm just going to add a bit of colour to, starting with a yellow and then I'm going to add a bit of red orange. And I'm going to try and mix the colours in just a little bit. Again, basically I'm just having a bit of fun with this. And then to kind of finish it off, a little bit of dry brushing with some silver paint. And I'm just going to go around with some Vallejo Rust and this is going to get painted onto all the darker areas just for some more effect. So I'm kind of guessing the extra panels that have been put on by the Orcs should really be a little bit newer looking. So I'm just going to go over them in a red.
And there we go guys, that's it complete. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And please, where possible guys, if you can share this video with any friends, family, work colleagues, on Facebook, Reddit, anywhere basically. Just get this channel out there guys, much appreciated. I wanted to say a big thank you to all my patrons for helping support this channel. That really means a lot guys, as it helps me buy more materials and figures so I can keep making stuff for you guys. You can become a patron guys for as little as a pound a month and this gives you exclusive access to all the behind the scenes videos and photos of what I'm currently working on before it comes out on YouTube. If you haven't seen part one guys, click here for that. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be informed of all the new videos that I produce. Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.